the hosting the annual Ubuntu Awards uh, and it's the sixth annual awards held under the theme this year celebrating excellence in diplomacy working together to build a better Africa and a better world and of course the awards have already been given for um, diplomacy in sports diplomacy in um, economy diplomacy and youth uh, there's public vote and uh, there's uh, also been a public vote for public diplomacy and uh, the Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Gabres, is getting a surprise award there for his role in humanity. Let's take you back there now. It's been part of the struggle, it's brought us here, and music has also played an integral part to bring us where we are as a country. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to deliver the keynote address on behalf of His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa. Please welcome to the podium the Minister in the Presidency, Mondli Gungubele, who's also my former mayor. <laughs> it's not an interview, Minister, I promise you, not an interview. <laughs> Wow. Program director, <clears throat> our host tonight, Minister Naledi Pando, Usisuetu, Umama Wetu, who I'm not supposed to be a keynote speaker after she has spoken. But my institutional location <laughs> has actually dictated otherwise. <laughs> You see, to say you're going to make a keynote speak, speech after her, I'm going to be bold, I'm going to make one, I'm not it. And her special guest, Mom Sophie Velma, and the Foreign Affairs Minister of Belgium, the Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros. I never thought I would be in the same space with you. I feel very much honored. I wanted to take photo with you. It was a stamp it. <laughs> I hope at the end I'll find time. I've watched you warding off the, imperial, the imperialists trying to descend on us, sending us for cleaners, and you stood. And I think we must give you a big hand for that. Director General in the Presidency, all Cabinet Ministers present, Members of Parliament, the Deputy Minister Bortes, Deputy Minister Mashiko, in Abstentia, Minister Mteta, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors, and High Commissioners, members of the Diplomatic Corps, ladies and gentlemen. I've been instructed to come here and say what the president wants to tell you. So you must know when I speak, the president is talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great pleasure to be in your midst tonight here in Cape Town, where we've just had the official opening of our parliament for the year. With this year's event taking place under extraordinary circumstances, from the building where Nelson Mandela delivered his first public address after his release from almost three decades in prison. It has been 32 years since that historic occasion. Mandela's release from prison in February not only inspired and ushered in a democratic dispensation for our country, but also resulted in many countries around the world readying themselves to establish and renew ties with South Africa. This after having cut ties and imposed sanctions on the apartheid regime. Their actions were in response to our call as South Africans in the world for international solidarity in the fight against racism and apartheid oppression. The world assisted us by mounting a most inspired global solidarity. As we mark 30 years or 32 years since the release of the old man, we again thank the international community for its contribution to the attainment of freedom 
in our country. We thank you, Excellencies, Ambassadors, and High Commissioners for having welcomed many of our compatriots as they sought refuge in your countries during those difficult days. Tonight, as is now becoming tradition after the State of the Nation Address, we again gather to recognize South African citizens from all walks of life for their distinguished service and contribution towards promoting the country's national interests and values across the world. Why indeed, open quote, celebrating excellence in diplomacy, working together to build a better Africa and a better world, close quote. Excellence in diplomacy is personified in the recipient of the OR Tambo Ubuntu Lifetime Achievement Award, Mr. Aziz Pahat. We salute him in abstention, especially after listening to, his, to that voice, which is very historic to us. Mr. Pahat is a political activist, human rights campaigner, and a friend of the oppressed where they are in the world, wherever they are in the world. We thank you, Mr. Pahat, for your unflinching dedication, bravery, and selfishness. I thank you on behalf of all South Africans for the role you played before and after the attainment of freedom. In your characteristic, open, and fearless manner in pursuit of freedom and equality. Mr. Pahat, you are recognized tonight alongside other generations of South Africans who in their unique ways are our proud and dependable flag bearers on the world stage. To all the recipients, I want you to know that you are the prisms through which the world sees our country. To many in the world, we have not had the opportunity to set foot in our country. The deeds of South African people abroad give a glimpse into our country. All the nominees and recipients tonight are South African citizens and companies that represent the best of our values, sharing those values with the rest of the world. South Africa, ladies and gentlemen, is a country of resilient people, and this has been evident more particularly since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, Dr. Tedros, you played a role in that resilience. Together we have endured setbacks and hardship as a result of ongoing global health pandemic. And together we will overcome. During the initial stages of the hard lockdowns across the world, Master KG and Nomteb was called as Jerusalem, inspired and gave the world hope. I'm disappointed though, Mamnaliti, that he was not uh, made to do it here tonight. I hope you're still going to come tomorrow. Uh, promise. The accolades you have received and continue to receive are well deserved. Congratulations once again for tonight's award, Master KG. Excellencies, our ability to gather in this manner here tonight is a testament that we are a tenacious people. Life is gradually normalizing across many sectors as our country rallies forward. As we embark on this forward march, we must have in our thoughts those of our compatriots that we have lost as a result of our COVID-19. As we embark on this forward march, we must remember those most affected and impacted by the pandemic, and we must do everything possible to ensure that the recovery is inclusive. Just before one goes to the conclusion, when I listened to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, our mother, our sister, Mom Naledi, speaking passionately about humanity and uh, being, finding expression on being what you are to one another as human beings, what came to my mind was, by the way, one of the biggest challenges humanity is facing is to conduct herself as a supreme speech in the world in the manner that he or she looks after all other creatures, be it plant to animals. Our supremacy finds expression in the best way we keep the biodiversity. Every time we fail there, 
the supremacy of our humanity actually stays questioned. That's why the issue of climate change is a test of the supremacy of humanity. I think God gave bigger responsibilities to human beings to look after other animals. And the climate change and how we conduct ourselves is going to be a biggest test to that status. As I conclude, I wish to thank all the Ubuntu Awards nominees and winners for flying the South African flag high across the world. Do not get tired of doing good. In the words of Madiba, open quote, I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have become, I have come, but I can only rest for a moment, for with freedom comes responsibility, and I dare not linger, for my long, long walk is not ended. Your Excellencies, nominees, your long walk is not ended. We are pausing just to acknowledge the work you've done so far. Thank you very much.